What are equivalent fractions? Let's begin with a story. One day, Paula and Dan met for lunch at a pizza restaurant. Paula ordered one slice of pizza and Dan ordered two slices of pizza. Dan went to the cash register to pay for his pizza. That will be $3, sir, said the cashier. Next, Paula went to the register to pay for her pizza. That will be $3, ma'am, said the cashier. Now wait just a minute, said Paula. Dan ordered two pieces of pizza and I only ordered one. Why do we both owe three dollars? Well, you both ordered the same amount of pizza, replied the cashier, taking Paula's three dollars. No, we didn't, chimed in Dan. I'm getting a whole extra slice of pizza for my three dollars. The cashier shrugged. Dan and Paula sat down to wait for their pizza. Why did Dan and Paula both owe three dollars when Dan ordered two slices of pizza and Paula only ordered one. Can you solve the pizza puzzle? Dan and Paula waited, confused, until their pizza was finished cooking. They opened their pizza boxes and finally understood. This is what they saw. Dan's pizza had been cut into eight slices. He had two eighths of a pizza. Paula's pizza had been cut into four slices. She had one fourth of a pizza. Dan and Paula both owed $3 because the fraction of the whole pizza they ordered was equivalent or equal. Two eighths equals one-fourth. They're the same amount of the whole pizza. Equivalent fractions have different numerators and denominators, but they name the same amount of the whole. Say you have half of a pizza. We can write a fraction to represent this amount, one-half. If you cut this pizza right down the middle, you still have the same amount of pizza, but we can write a different fraction now. Now we write the fraction two fourths because now our pizza was cut into fourths instead of halves. Even if you cut both of those pieces, you still have the same amount of pizza with a totally different numerator and denominator. Now we would write the fraction four eighths. All of these fractions represent the same amount of pizza. They are equivalent fractions. Cutting something into smaller pieces doesn't change the amount you have. Here I have two thirds of a chocolate bar. Because this whole chocolate bar was cut into three equal pieces and I have two of them left. If I cut those pieces, now I can see that the chocolate bar had been cut into six total pieces and I have four of them. I have four six, but it's the same amount of chocolate. Let's cut them again. Now I have eight pieces of a chocolate bar that was cut into 12 total pieces, eight twelfths, but it's the same amount of chocolate. All of these fractions are equivalent. It's the same amount of the whole, but cutting things into smaller pieces does change the numerator and denominator. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Check the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.